Video games in the past few decades have evolved from using low bit graphics during the retro arcade games generation to having almost photorealistic visuals in the modern day AAA titles. However, despite these changes in the visual styling of the game, the underlying content that generates these images, it remains the same, which in this case it is the contents of the game of football like the position of players, the ball and the football pitch etc. So now the question is is it possible to train a single neural network that is able to look at these images and extract only the content of the game while being able to ignore the vast variations occurring from the different visual styling of these games. Let's find out. Hello everyone, my name is Chintan and welcome to the presentation of our COG21 paper titled Contrastive Learning of Generalized Game Representations co-authored alongside Antonios Liapis and Yorgos Yanakakis from the Institute of Digital Games. Our main objective in this paper is to learn a latent representation of a game's RGB image using a convolutional neural network encoder. Here, we want to ensure that the encoder is invariant to the graphical styling of the game while it is able to focus only on extracting the content of this game. Moreover, we want to learn this in a general purpose fashion where the representations are usable across different downstream applications like creating game playing bots or for procedural content generation. Let's first try to understand how visual styling differences in different games of the same genre can create a problem for neural networks. Consider this example of a bunch of images coming from different football games with retro, modern and photorealistic graphics. Now if we plot the TSNE embeddings of the representations of these images obtained from a pre-trained encoder, we observe that the representations form clusters of their own. Now, this is a problem because even though each game contains the exact same content, that is soccer, they are embedded separately due to the differences in their graphics. A similar phenomena can be observed in other game genres as well. An ideal encoder should not exhibit such gaps between different games of the same genre. And this problem is commonly referred to as the domain gap issue. This is the main challenge that we want to overcome in our work. So for this purpose, we first prepared a new dataset called Sports 10. This dataset contains screenshot images from 175 different video games spread across 10 game genres shown here. And each genre contains exactly 10,000 images. Here we focus on collecting images from a graphically diverse set of games ranging from retro to modern and photorealistic video games. Such a dataset allows us to work towards solving the domain gap problems explained earlier. And of course, the link to this dataset is available in the description below if you'd like to use it in your own research. Alright, so now that we have this dataset, let's look at the learning framework to train our neural network. Here, we propose to use a supervised contrastive learning framework which works as follows. Consider three images from our dataset where two of the images belong to the soccer genre and the third image belongs to bike racing genre. Here, note that the two soccer images come from two different games with different visual stylings. Now, we pass these images through our neural network encoder that we wish to train and obtain the latent representations. In this framework, the two soccer games are defined as a positive pair as they belong to the same game genre, while the soccer and bike racing games are defined as a negative pair as they belong to different genres. With this in mind, we try to apply a contrastive loss function such that in a vector space, the positive representations are made more similar by pulling them closer together. And conversely, at the same time, the negative pairs are pushed further apart by making them more dissimilar. 
So this loss function forces our encoder to learn features that are common across all games of the same genre and it learns to ignore the stylistic differences in their graphics. Such a loss function also leads to learning more general purpose representations because it does not train using something like action labels or reward functions that you commonly see in imitation or reinforcement learning frameworks. So we implemented the supervised contrastive learning framework on our sports 10 dataset and here are the results. First, let's establish a baseline so we can compare different learning frameworks. We use a pre-trained ResNet 50 model and observe the TSNE embeddings of all games in our validation dataset. Recall that each game genre you see here contains multiple games of that genre with different graphic styling, which means the TSNE scatter plot shows just how poor the pre-trained model is at ignoring the stylistic differences between these games. Next, we compare this to a traditional supervised learning framework where each game genre is treated as a class label and the encoder it learns to classify a game into one of these 10 game genres. You can notice here that this framework massively improves upon our baseline and different game genres are much better separated from each other while different games of the same genre are more compact. However, as you can see here, there are still some domain gap issues as different games create a subcluster within the cluster of their own genre. So up next, we compare this to our contrastive learning framework and we observe that this method yields even better game representations while exhibiting fewer domain gap issues compared to both these previous methods. The clusters of game genres are much more compact and well separated from those of other genres. Thus, we argue that the contrastive learning framework is best suited for learning general game representations that can ignore differences in visual styling of games and only focus on obtaining the game's content. To conclude, in this paper, we first introduce a new Sports 10 dataset focusing on including a graphically diverse set of games. Then we lay out the contrastive learning framework to train an encoder on this dataset. Then we show how this framework is best equipped to tackle the domain gap challenges and gives game representations that generalizes well to graphically diverse sets of games. Alright everyone, that's it for this video. If you are interested in checking out our full paper or our code, the links to the archive and github pages are down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.